We'll begin our team coverage tonight with News 8's Kyle Mitchell, who's answering the question, what's in the smoke? Kyle? Brian, it may be hard to see with our camera, but we can definitely see some smoke here in the distance, especially downtown. It's a little bit better than it was yesterday, but the particles are so small that an expert we spoke with from Western Michi Michigan University gave us an idea of what types of things are floating in the air. You can't escape the smoke and odor once you step outside. I think a lot of what people smell are things like polyaromatic hydrocarbons, known carcinogens. Steve Bertman, a professor of environment and sustainability at Western Michigan University, says the particles and gases from the Canadian wildfires are creating poor air quality in West Michigan. The levels that I've seen reported are 10 to 20 times above what the EPA says is acceptable for a 24-hour uh, a 24 hour period. The composition of the particles can be a lot of different things. Um, often they are made up of acids, um, like nitric nitric acid salts and, and sulfuric acid salts. Bertman says carbon monoxide, formaldehyde, even some heavy metals can be in the air. Just any particle of that size that, that can interfere with the exchange of gases in our lungs um, can lead to uh, respiratory or even cardiac uh, problems. We forecast PM 2.5, which is the smoke concentrations currently impacting us right now, and also ozone. Meteorologists with the Michigan Department of Environment, Great Lakes and Energy uses sensors across the state to monitor air quality and issue alerts that are sent to the National Weather Service. Their biggest concern right now is PM 2.5. So basically PM 2.5 stands for particulate matter of 2.5 microns or smaller. So very, very fine, small dust, like it's smaller than a, uh, a, human, a human hair. Eagle says the levels they are seeing are higher than they were just a few weeks ago, and the winds are blowing the smoke over our area. A change in the weather could help clear the air. Rain does help because that helps to clean out the air mass, we say. Um, it's kind of like weigh it down and just blow it out of here, especially if the rain is associated with the frontal boundary. Says it issues its air quality warnings about a day in advance, so it's too early to know if one will be in place over the 4th of July holiday weekend. Morning live in Grand Rapids, Kyle Mitchell, News 8. Mm, All right, it. yeah, good to know, I yeah. guess, what we're breathing out there. Bad for you, Kyle. Thank you.